Yo, what's good? This is Don't Flop North versus South, volume number three. We are here, Birmingham City. Final time is the day in the venue. Make some fucking noise. <laughs> Team North, shouts to all the Team South, shouts to Heretic and Soweto holding it down for the Midlands in that one battle, that was a classic. Alright, we're about to get into the final, final battle of the day, I cannot wait. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, please make sure you tweet, don't flop. This is the only battle today in the venue that is being judged in person right here, right now. Everything else will be judged officially with the YouTube vote at the end, so please, every other video, take the time to vote at the end. Alright, on the right hand side, as always, I'm introducing the challengers from Leeds, they fucking smashed their last couple of two on twos, yeah. Matter and Peace Soldier, yeah. 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 And on my left hand side, not going to say too much, the current two on two champions, representing Team South, please make some noise. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's go, let's go. The challenges on the right hand side are going first, there was no flip. This is Don't Flop North versus South. This is the most important North versus South match of the day. We have nine judges, we've got to have five, then we're going to have seven, now we've got nine. If anyone else wants to give an opinion unofficially, that's fine as well. We have nine official judges, it's all good. <laughs> and yeah, as I said, the challenges are first. Birmingham, one more time, you ready for the battle? Make some noise! <laughs> All right then. Yo, bro, yo, bro, you with me, yeah? Yeah! Hey, should we have a classic, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Shut yeah. up, Shuffle and Marlow! Hey, yo, Shuffle T. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro, that's not Shuffle. That's not Shuffle. Well, who's that then? That's Ben Affleck, bro. <laughs> well, who's that? That's Ben Affleck as well, bro. <laughs> yo, just talk to him, man. Go right. on. Yo, so we've been gone for a while. And I heard the people wanted us back, so in honour of the last battle, it's only right that I hit them with some true facts. Life. Like facts. While all you man was out at Shoreditch Market picking out rugs. <laughs> I was going hard in the trap house, 12 gauge, loading up slugs. <laughs> Worrying my mum, coming home covered in blood, while you... <laughs> you were just worried about rugs. See, while you two were studying, reading books like a toff, yeah. I was at home watching Korean films with the subtitles on. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And in that jacket you always wear, you look like a nonce. Dr. Robotnik in a rocket ship. I look like a boss. Woo! <laughs> See, this is these two, yeah? Oh, look, it's battle rap. <laughs> Let's exploit it and mock it. Let's <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let's subvert the traditional images of masculinity in hip hop's doctrine. Let's uh, let's use it to promote our fifth tier student comedy videos. Get them locked in, because going viral is the pinnacle of creative achievement. The world is watching. And when I step out the barrio, I make sure all my man are lord and pop up like it's a me, Mario. <laughs> See I slaughter them like Alamo, always serve it Alamo, you got a reservation with the desert like Navajo. Navajo. But um, peace soldier. Yo, where are you going from? <laughs> Shoot guns there. No comment. Sell drugs there. No comment. Big Mr. Scary yes, Gangster Yes I am. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> See, it's matter and Pete. You can't clash him with sarcasm. That's something you can't fathom. You jump in that large chasm. An acting hard bastard will only resort in getting your marge blasted. To keep it blunt, you can't hack it. Hey, see, in uni, he had a letterman jacket. Yeah. But he let a man jack it. <laughs> hey. Hey. Hold up, what question did these man... Uh, hold up, I got a question, let me ask go it. On. What uni did these man go to? Bath uni, bro. Bath Uni. Bath Uni. Alright, fuck it then. <laughs> well, while these men were out squabbling at Bath Uni, <laughs> I had my baby mum telling me her other baby father can't outdo me on the road. <laughs> Real shit, nigga. Real shit. <laughs> Yo. Let's go, man. Hey, go, go. So while all you man was out squabbling at Bath Uni, 
I had my baby mum telling me my, her other baby father can't outdo me. I mean, what do you know about emptying out the bath just to clean a black Uzi and oiling down the barrel just to make sure it blasts smoothly? Mm. <laughs> you two met at Bath Uni. <laughs> Every part of that sentence makes me sick. As far as battle rap backstories go, that one takes the piss. I guess it explains this whole just trying to blend in at uni vibe. He's like, keep my head down, keep my nose clean, do my time. But if I'd have been there, I'd have crept into your nice safe residence at nightfall, looking for that nice score. These posh comedians would have got jacked in them white holes. <laughs> See, what? Mm. Why you as a student house parties, taking shit drugs. <laughs> I was at student house parties, selling shit drugs. <laughs> Distributing inferior narcotics, getting big bucks, but the punters always seem to love it. I got big hugs. You see, at our parties, we're smoking packets. Yeah. At their parties, smoking jackets. <laughs> at our parties, we turn up till we burn out the sockets. At your parties, you all just recite every single word of the office. At our parties, bitches twerking. At your parties, pickled gherkins. <laughs> At our parties, big speakers. At your parties, six cheeses. Six. I can't even name six cheeses. You get me? But yo, my law looks about 38. Mm -hmm. So I brang the 38. Uh. Barrel spinning like a crop doing a death roll. Heightened in my death toll. Rusty spinner. Impact throwing back because it's retro. <laughs> Sniper rifle from the rooftop. The view is perfect. Red dot on his chest like Uma Thurman. I'll put this bitch in a box like Uma Thurman. I'll make him D-I-E like the in German. Wow. <laughs> See, the way I leave him six deep is full of suspense and intrigue. I'll fill up Marlow with holes, give him the big sleep. And I'm the connect for the arms like the elbow. Yes. Stuck to the strap <laughs> like Velcro. <laughs> And I'm the connect for the arms like the elbow, stuck to the strap like Velcro. <laughs> See the code name is Yunnan vs O'Shea when I'm blasting shots. Cause when the Tommy starts spazzing they'll have to call the battle off. <laughs> You know what? Fuck all that, yeah? Bath uni, bro. Where? Oh, these men call it bath uni. Bath. Makes me want to bath uni. Okay, then. Dialect, dialect, you'll get this. See, these, these men went to bath uni. <laughs> I went to Thomas Danby. Yeah. Sure. They got good qualifications, and I got a job with Andy. Real shit. <laughs> it was shot in Mandy. Free <laughs> <laughs> <Three> Andy! <laughs> Shut up, dialect and zen. Go. <laughs> Some said this was a shit matchup. Yes. What? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what our talk was about. Yeah. yeah. The moment I shared. <laughs> The moment I shared it with Shaft, hilarious stuff. So we're performing it now for all of the crowd. Adam, look, I was just hoping we got a title match for North versus South. Really? <laughs> yeah, you're not gonna fucking like it, mate. Right, who's been calling us out? Well, because we made Crack and C and Marvin Quest fall to the ground. I know. Has, uh, <laughs> has Kay Shine been out those immigration forms for us now? No. <laughs> don't, don't tell me that immaculate and thesaurus are down. It's not them. Then <laughs> <laughs> who is it? <laughs> Let's forfeit the crown. What? 
let's, let's, let's just do only do gimmick battles from now on. I'm sure we're allowed. Well, why would we do that? That was boring the crowd, and we we promised ourselves that we wouldn't resort to it now. Yeah, yeah. You don't no, understand. Come on, mate. Right. Who is it? Who's the talk of the town? It's Matter and P Soldier. Get the Oreos out. <laughs> In hell don't flop. We leave you on your own for five minutes. <laughs> and these are the fucking challenges you set. <laughs> Matter and his friend. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking barrel's at an end. Well, I guess we better go and say <laughs> battle rap, rap again. Because <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to this two on two shit, You've brought fuck all new to the table. That's incredibly real. Same old. T t uh, fuck. You brought fuck all new to the table. Just because some tired rounds carried you here, you've not invented the wheel. P pops a growth hormone with every meal, and your face looks like how America feels. <laughs> Matter and Luna P. It's not just a couple. <laughs> it's not just a couple southern thespians you risk at losing to. It's your dignity. You hate that we're not spitters through and through. You'll look desperate trying to prove yourself, like when Finchy threw the shoe, or a colourblind guy trying to fix a Rubik's cube. Oh. You, you are not the best doubles in the country. There's inconclusive proof. You're just the only team around right now in British two on two. Trying to hit those Luna views. You must be tripping to, to the moon. moon. But we're here. To <laughs> Wow. Don't say we didn't shoot to you. Now it's a simple formula. You just do the setup and then shift it through to you. Then you quickly move it through like the kids Scooby do when they're through to. Formula. You just do the setup and then shift it through to you. Then you quickly move it through like the Kids Scooby do when they're switching room to room because they're in a spooky room. room. But that chemistry's not something you just stick with super glue. And it really fucking helps if you're not shit at two on two. <laughs> it's Shufflo. <laughs> Sorry we've been away. We've been fucking swamp mate, honestly. Yeah. What you know about being fairly busy, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Managing day-to-day -day tasks. It's been mental. <laughs> Diary dates are a pain in the arse. We had to pencil in this title match way in advance, so at Blood in the Water 5 we set the date with the staff. What do you <laughs> when it comes to having that Slightly busy schedule. <laughs> We're raising the bar. I have to paint the garage. I have to change the alarm. I'm up to my neck in it, and I ain't a giraffe. <laughs> Told my, my father after he booked a vacation in France that I'm snowed under at work. He said you're breaking my heart. Our PA has a PA. Tell him. And that PA has a PA. Tell him. And that PA has a chart. She fuses our to-do list like music. It's state of the art. We've got drinks with Rowan scheduled for the 18th of March. <laughs> 2019. I can't even go for drinks with my mates at a bar because it's a money thing as well. I'm trying to save for a car. True. I got a call from my mother the other day in a state of alarm. She huh? says, Adam, come quick. Something's happened to your favourite aunt. Huh? She's in the A&E with a brain disease. She's fading and fast. I've got a battle in the diary, Mum. So I'm afraid that I can't. <laughs> Commitments. We put my name on the card and give Jane my regards. <laughs> All this and I'm learning to play the guitar. Imagine. Man, people saying we'll be rusty now. Ha <laughs> ha, they're making us laugh. <laughs> check, 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 check. Yo, yo, yo. You ready? You ready? You ready? No. <laughs> we! Fuck we do ripping Will! After this fucking <laughs> You lot, you lot should have seen the last two guys who tried for the title. <laughs> they were not the best per se. Yeah, I know this is like this whole thing that you gotta like, you know, respect work rate, right? but there was this one bloke, dialect. Oh, God. He had the most <laughs> stretch. <laughs> Uh, name. Oh, it was like Ziggy or Zap. Zap. <laughs> Z 
Zen! Zen! Christ! What was it Zen's first day? That we'll see them again until the 10th uh, birthday? It was a bloodbath. You only had to check her space. They had to get first aid from the headburns. Wait. <laughs> oh, that's oh. right. <laughs> they they were, were your friends, weren't they? <laughs> By southern standards. We're awful part. But you consider the South poor because you are an orthodox. See, so call the shots. And call the dogs. We'll call the cops. Do you call them off? You look like you've been smoking that northern rock. Which is fitting because you're about to lose all your stock like a corner shop with this door unlocked, so believe me, you're buddied like Courtney Cox. <laughs> the last doubles title was in 2014. Let that sink in. <laughs> we never, ever, 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 ever lose. We'll take a massive break from battles and still get. <laughs> It was 2014. We never, ever, 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 ever. Oh, fuck! <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. We never, ever, 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 ever lose. We'll take a massive break from battles and still get as many views. So when we win the day, because we get the best of you, you can catch our next title match in 2022. <laughs> You white bastards. <laughs> hey, bro, you what? can't just like um, what? what? I fuck it. <laughs> you mountain climbing bungee jumpers. <laughs> you TV license buying radio <laughs> 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 I said, you mountain climbing bungee jumpers. You TV license buying radio time subscribing motherfuckers. <laughs> I got white in my sight like Uncle Ruckus. See, your, your local news agent only sells the Financial Times. No cigs, no food, nothing. Just the Financial Times. Well, I'll creep from behind like a pantomime and bang the nine. Mm. They're trying to throw rocks at tanks, but this ain't Palestine. Now I bet, I bet you fully cooperated with police officers on several occasions. <laughs> I bet, I bet you got a set of spoons for every occasion. Your ancestors were into segregation. <laughs> <laughs> Your ancestors hated... Niggas! <laughs> every fucking... One of us. You know why? Because they were a set of right-wing bastards. If I'm lying, how many black people are in your man's family? Um, <laughs> yeah, it's cool, I'll wait. <laughs> Bro, go on. Fuck it out. What's next? I don't know, you tell them. Alright. See? <laughs> Three, by the way. Yo. Alright, so, yo. I might do some multis actually, fuck it, why not, innit? Just I do some multis, All right. that's what they do. I hope Shuffle and Marlowe get fucked in the arsehole by a couple of carloads of chubby Chicano. Those multis was yeah. hard, bro. Yo, cheers, High man. five. Nah, nah fuck, fuck that, that shit. shit. I'll pull the stick with the wooden grips, let off a couple clips, and chuck a dummy in his White House, like the American government. I'll let a, I'll let a few spray. He can catch a bunch, but I ain't talking a bouquet. But, uh, talking a bouquets, Huh, Marlowe's getting married. You lying. Get your head round the fact. Looks like something incredibly flat just fell in his lap. Selling a gash, begging for cash. She smells the kebabs and sweats in the bath. Uh. <laughs> Plus I heard she's kind of dead in the rack like coffins draped with American flags. Plus she's shady down south like the Confederate flag. Yo, plus I heard she's kind of dead in the rack like coffins draped with American flags Plus she's shady down south like the confederate flag She's got a lesbian tash, gives off a venomous gas I'd have to hit it from long range like an SCN pass Now, you done brought knives to a word fight So you don't want the first date? Yo, 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 yo! Yo, I said, so you don't want the first time, you want to get yo, yo, yo. the turbines. That didn't work the first time. <laughs> <laughs> We're alright. 
You look like you're wearing someone else's trousers. <laughs> they just give you up a pair. You look like you watched the Oxbridge boat race with your fist up in the air. <laughs> you pussy old rent boy living in despair because the ring you gave your girl is thinner than your hair. Because <laughs> you like shit. You just make up bollocks to add extra colour. You just cut and paste your background like the Sergeant Pepper cover. They can't come mm. around our way. We'll make them suffer. You won't see these white faces in the hood like the 36 Chambers cover. Mm. Bow, chest shot. Bow, head shot. Whoa, poor fucker. Leave them wheezy with a red cap like the Carter 4 cover. And I'll wait until your bitch is pregnant. Uh huh. Catch her breastfeeding in bed and let a couple fly. <laughs> and have that you all over the cover like ready to die. <laughs> Actor, magician, battle rapper. You do literally anything to get laid. But me? That's me? It wouldn't it? Me? I'd do anything to get paid, yeah. except suck a dick, <laughs> fuck a man, or let a man fuck me, because I'm dead straight. <laughs> Other than that, I'll roll up on a Segway, let lead spray, the saw one split his head open, because I'm a head case. Mm. See, they're just moonlighting as rappers with the Nardwar swag. Anyone picking you winning, either got the wrong card or they're in La La Land. See, we're out to out fox, the fox hunters. Looking down the barrel while I'm inhaling the sativa. Mm -hmm. I'll let two blow, pussy get his head top bun like Ebra. Now, nice. you're probably going to say some shit like I shouldn't be using gun bars. And that might be true, but don't get mad because you're not smart enough to figure out what I'm trying right. to do. Yes. Now why on earth can't I chat about how I lurk with the gat or put him work in the trap? Two words for you dickhead, alternative, alternative facts. <laughs> now, here's a real fact for you though, your girl is a biggie, no smalls. And that's cool, <laughs> that's cool, I ain't dissing at all because women are all beautiful, the big and the small. But I bet when you fuck her, it claps so loud the neighbours thought they had a special kid living next door. <laughs> Now your bitch might be an amazing wife. Maybe. Well if she starts giving it all this, she can get bladed twice. See these crazy rights will change his life like great advice. Knock him down then put some kick into his ribs like Cajun spice. <laughs> Hey, Pete, 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 Pete. Go on, fam. Remember when I said I got a rhyme book so big that it reads like a manual? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. what did you say again? I said I got a gun so big it's extremely impractical. Yeah, that way. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody went mental because it sounded sick. <laughs> Shuffle liked it so much he battled Carter Deems and based the whole round on it. <laughs> now, when I said to Euphorical, Get two black eyes, then you can pander, pander to, to the, the crowd. crowd. Yeah. Again, Shuffle liked it so much, battled Carter Deems and it just landed in his round. <laughs> now, I don't know what the fuck this clown is on, but if you'd been to the hip hop seminar, you'd know that biting. Intentionally plagiarizing another rapper's lyrics off. <laughs> <laughs> Now jacking someone else's shit, that's not how we're getting down. I'd rather design a future that's more than biting someone else's style. So fuck you Shuffle and Marlo, I invented this sarcastic shit. And, and this, this the, the motherfucking, motherfucking thanks I get! <laughs> but that being said, you two are getting shot today. Alright mate. <laughs> yeah. Or I might just roll up on your family holiday, tie them up with bondage tape, and have bodies on the chopper like a bond escape. Mm. See, you're, see, you're just the actor, and this is just one of your plays, and I can respect that, but when filming is done for the day, your whole personality abruptly escapes because you've got nothing to say if you ain't got someone to play. And as for you, Marlo, when it comes to the best in your team, you are not the one. That's why I'm breaking off the weakest link and robbing some. <laughs> So you two are just speed bumps, but don't think we're slowing down. Before we get shuffled deck, we gotta take the jokers out. And see, we was on the case as soon as I got the casing. After I let the casing, I'm picking up the casings. Uh, you know what I heard, bro? Go on. I heard that Danny Jack here. Who? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking prick. I heard that Danny Jack is the captain of Team South. I am still. <laughs> yeah. 
lying. AKA Team Feeble Little Bitches. AKA <laughs> Fuck Turning Up, let's have some tea and biscuits. One mission, leave these two reeking in the ditches. And leave Captain Jack sleeping with the fishes. Now that's <laughs> <laughs> you insulted my girlfriend mm -hmm. just to make it work in a scheme. She'll be so let down. She met you guys and liked you both personally. <laughs> She'll be upset with that. So you disappointed yourself there. Because I, I actually met these guys both in Denmark on my travel back from Oz. I was there because I had another classic rapping job. <laughs> P Soldier was there because he too had a battle on. Matter was there because Matter there is a massive tag along. <laughs> P Soldier was there for work. He had a plus one, which he offered straight to Zen. So why the fuck were you there? Oh, do you want a holiday with friends? Matter must. <laughs> <laughs> Matter must have asked to join them. I mean, like, what do you say to them? Can you imagine? How awkwardly that conversation went. Props. Props. All right. Okay. All right. You're right, Mush. Guess what? I formed a little plan. What's happened to your normal voice, Mush? I caught a sickness fan. Right. You know your battle in Denmark? Yeah. Have you sorted shit for that? I mean, yeah, it's tomorrow, so it's all booked and everything. I mean, I you... bought my ticket, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yep. Well, that's thoughtful, isn't it, fam? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome, isn't it? Ah, oh, bloody it. Right. Do you know what the problem is with that? What? Well, me and Zen have already fucking ordered in the cab with our suitcases. There'll be no room for storage in the back. Oh, I'm, don't sure, I'm sure we'll figure that right. How much laundry did you pack? We'll take out a couple t-shirts and your shorts and squish the bags. Oh, of course we'll fit in, man. Woo, touring with the lads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Oh, oh I, uh, oh, I <laughs> To be honest, mate, no, I don't think you can, but you can certainly come for smoke with us before a trip to Dam. Well, ah. you know, I've already put a picture of us all on Instagram and I'm sort of in the tag, so is it a plan or is it a plan? <laughs> you know what, Matt? What? You're my biggest fan. Matt, logical. <laughs> you fucking tagged along and oh. <laughs> you know, it's the darndest thing. Back in the day, when you battled, right? People lost their heads. Yeah. You got the hugest views in the two on twos. Nowadays, people are not impressed. And we're looking at your view count now, and there is not a lot that's left. What, what the heck <laughs> is this the common thread? <laughs> we're trying to work out the reason, Matt. Trying to figure it out for you. <laughs> Racking my brains like I'm thinking about some boobs. <laughs> <laughs> Up, I'm clicking refresh like give it an hour or two. What is it about those older battles with your old two on two partner Luna, Luna, C, Luna C, C that got the bigger amount of views? I got it. What? He's got shit glasses now. Bollocks. Bollocks, aren't they? Yeah, we know what the real reason is. We uh, we did some research. And since you swapped partners, you must be so pissed off it hurts. He was Neil Armstrong. Your buzz Aldrin when they were lifted from Earth, because when it comes to all things Luna, no one thinks of you first. <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Oh, what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> huh? You want it to be the better one in the team? Like Shuffle and me? Yeah, what? <laughs> Matt, <laughs> Matt will never look like a champ as long as those glasses stay with him. Fuck a turtle or an owl, you look like Barb from Stranger Things. And you've been, <laughs> you've been getting gassed up above your level like a carbonated drink. But a good soldier keeps marching because he can't replace a king. <laughs> All of the cameras died at this point, but people went fucking mad for that bar. I'm gonna use this shirt because he's got a king ring on it. <laughs> <laughs> Behind the scenes. <laughs> We're gonna tell you a wee story. Wee story. It's a wee story. Wee story. So uh, it takes place in a, a premiere room with this guy. Him and the lads were sloshed. I think he was there with Zen and maybe Raptor who came in with him to crash the spot. There was a couple of ladies there. Now, don't get me wrong. These women had drank a lot. One of whom, P Soldier, proceeded to 
uh, uh, relinquish his bladder on. <laughs> Oh, sorry, that's a total lie, sorry. It was a travel lodge. Apologies. You pissed! <laughs> you pissed on a person. The next morning... The next morning... The next morning, me, Ronan and Shuff got in my car, ready to take our leave. We started driving and talking about how you've been drenching your mates with we. But... When we escaped from Leeds, uh -huh. and remembered your name was P, <laughs> I laughed so hard I nearly crashed the Fiesta from 83. <laughs> Did your father never teach you, when you piss on a girl, you piss off a girl? <laughs> now, we, we all know that P soldier urinate on a female. Sure. But if we inspect... Mm. Real question is why? Why? Mm. How the idea is stick in his head. Mm. I know what you're thinking, and yes, he could have kissed her instead. It's a bit of a stretch, but they could have even physically slept in the hotel room singular bed if he did let her kip at the edge, but the answer is clear. <laughs> and simple to guess. Why did P. Soldier choose pissing instead? Why? Because that is how he thinks you have sex. <laughs> Literally, yes. It's one of many things that are almost sort of like these soldiers' powers. Other than being twice the height restriction for rides at Alton Tower. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. He sees the lovely lady, he's like, right, it's time for Gordon showers. Then in comes Matt at a lawyer, he stand by and hold his trousers. <laughs> do, do you have a problem with pissing on women? I'll take that as yes. His ex-girl asked him why their dates had to end. He said, listen, you're the bomb. You're an 8 out of 10, but this won't work because I only you're an 8 out of 10! Now you all know our slogan, round 2, and it's getting hot in here, seriously it's too hot, can you turn the heating down? Turn the heating down right now! fucking coat! Slowly turn the air cord Look at that coat! You think this is a coat? You think this is comfy? He's wearing two layers! I'm sweating like this, you can imagine what he's going through time! Now me, you see me, yeah? I'm just known to take the piss, innit matter? <laughs> yeah, matter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But Shuffle T, can you stand like this? You better do what I tell you. Let's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go. P, tell them go about on. the time you went to Marlowe's yard, bro. Which one's Marlowe? Because uh, I've been to both their houses just on separate occasions. That one, that one. <laughs> this one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yo. So one time I was stranded in London, wrote a Facebook status and Marlowe belled me. Of course. Came on the phone, sounded all calm and friendly. Expected. Said he had a place. <laughs> <laughs> he said he had a place for me to stay on his family's country estate. Not bad. So I turned up, a cunt in a steak. <laughs> Rolled upon his dad at dinner and put out a blunt on his steak. <laughs> his mum tried giving it all this and got punched in the face. <laughs> Then I burnt his dad's soup, sir. And then I burnt his dad's suit and ties and his super dries. Then I forced the gardeners and the housekeepers to unionize. <laughs> yeah, at gunpoint. At gunpoint. Yeah. Then I pulled out a brick of raw and told his sister to get that depressed. Mm. Then I saw all the nozzles off his dad's antique guns and give him a real reason to be depressed. Hit him with a right, put him in a depressed. I had that depressed against his daughter's lips. But they didn't know if it was my gun or my dick. You get me? Spoiler alert, it were his dick. It was. <laughs> and I pissed. <laughs> Here, here, here. Been king at dot, aren't ya? Whoa, that's good for the scene, I reckon. Been overseas to rep it. But you know, it's funny. Americans think English people dress in tweed, neck in tea and eating pheasant. Monty Python in the office, that's their only screen of reference. So they only like you, because you don't challenge their preconceptions. <laughs> but you know what? You have done a whole lot for Don't Flop. Yep. That's true. You bring in mad views. You've been keeping her fed. It's your fault he's got man boobs! <laughs> Thank you.
<laughs> and Kruger's fat too, but I ain't hating. <laughs> Eat your damn food, but me, I stay with them hunger pains. A rusty blade will give them stomach cramps too. So you two are always giving it all this. All that. But are you such damn great friends? But well, why didn't you come together and get your back pay off Pat Stay then? Why? Why'd he jump in your Yunnan battle and act snake then? Why? Matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Now you think <laughs> rapping at the same time is cool, but you must be crazy, bro. Because if me and him spat a bar at the same time, it'd be gay as fuck, don't you? <laughs> 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 hey. Now you two spitting bars at the same time, you must think that it's cool. Well, you must be crazy, bruv, because if me and him spat a bar at the same time, it'd be gay as fuck. Don't you reckon? Yeah, chef up, we won't do that. But imagine shuffling tea at school, chipping over them big clown shoes, trying to play football in them big dirty brown boots. Do you know what's messed up? When you're barely ten, uh, ten, uh, you know what's messed up? When you're barely ten plus and you've got a trench coat and trench foot. <laughs> Now, I'd like to lodge a formal complaint. Do it, do it. I'm gonna. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'd, love to, I'd like to lodge a formal complaint about the lack of diversity in your 212 team. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. In 2017, it's unacceptable. Yeah. Your team is whiter than a country festival. <laughs> You go county fairs with humongous vegetables. So fuck you and and everything you stand for. Mm -hmm. I'll do him dirty when I raise this mag aloof and give him 18 to 30. Mad. <laughs> See, I'll whip out the taser, build up a buzz like a mixtape, then shock them like the parents if they brought home a girl that's mixed race. <laughs> Your comedy's clumsy, cliched and confused. Don't hold out for that big break. I could write better sketches than you on my sick break. Well, actually, I uh, did happen to bring a little script. <laughs> if you can have a shifty for it quick and let me know what you think, that'd sure. be sick. Psych, it's a picture of a dick! <laughs> <laughs> now that's fucking human, eh? That's human! You see, from day one I said we were going for that title shot. Ask the feds, my title's hot. Don't write us off. Who else has no showed battles <laughs> called Er <Earth> Irv <laughs> <laughs> pointed a fire extinguisher in his face and fired it off and still got the title shot? <laughs> Me, that's who, while everyone else is sucking cock for a battle on training days. I'm like, well, well, fuck a training days. I'm a man on fire. I'm Denzel. <laughs> Yo, we ended as contenders, but we're leaving as champs. After this, we're going massive. Putting, <laughs> putting peas in the bank. Blowing up off a 2 on 2 like Azealia Banks. See, <laughs> see, you can shuffle all you want, but the combination's crack. Your safe space is hacked. Combination's making his face collapse when I make a rack. I'll cop an ancient strap painted black and aim at that. So you, little fuckers, better <laughs> pipe down. Because I got shooters on you right now. <laughs> So you're dead. You right now you're dead. Bang, yeah. You're dead. Now that's trill, nigga. Oi, Matter! What? You know what rhymes with Adam Warlard? You're not the only person on this stage that has a hood pass. <laughs> that's a forgery, bro. This no. is official shit. Forge. Forge. Oh, Mister, you wish you did. I'll rock. No, it's false. I rolled into Leeds in the roughest estate. Mm. It was P Soldier. Selling them for a couple of K. Expensive. But for that permission to use the N bomb, mm. we had something to gain. Yeah. So we went halves on it. Sell for payment plan. A hundred a day. And it comes to my wage. Went to a couple of black guys, <laughs> dropped the N bomb, and got punched in the face. <laughs> huh? Can someone explain? <laughs> you got something to say? Which? Version of the word was it? The one with A! <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Turns out one of the black guys revealed that apparently we have to be true. <laughs> P, why didn't you tell us that we have to be true? Trill. 
<laughs> now I am well aware that we are whiter than a gallon of milk, but Matthew rated you! That's a family film! Bob. Rated you, family film. Like a, you know, like the rating. I know what you're thinking. How do I come up with all those amazing puns I achieve? <laughs> well, about time I told you. Got a punchline machine. <laughs> and it does rhymes for me. I press the little button like one liners, please. For example, here we go. My boy shoves sciency. Oh, right, right, right. <laughs> Uh, I'll run up in your house like, come dine with me. What? <laughs> oh, I stuck to the storms and setting. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh, killing you will be the last thing I do, like getting stung by a bee. That's what the all right. fuck is that? That's okay. That's all right. I'd like it to do a lot better. Like. <laughs> <laughs> will be 2-1, like when I flunked my degree. <laughs> the fuck is this shit, mate? <laughs> it's bollocks. <laughs> Please, can you refrain from being unkind to yeah, me? Yeah, it's got feelings as well, actually, mate. It's a funny story. <laughs> right, 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 right. right. Uh, this is a bad match, like my blood type is B. That's rubbish! Yeah, fair enough, for once I agree. <laughs> Look, guys, you did a cute little send for us in your last battle. By rhyming Lenny Henry with Serengeti and Fetch the Shetty. What? Literally no idea. <laughs> you missed some nice rhymes, but I guess hindsight is 2020. You think of women as a chance for you to spend a penny. She's no coward, but you left her with a yellow belly. You say you mix spaghetti with cooking, meth with Jesse, and we'll never stop cooking. Mary Berry, with the killers down south. <laughs> Edward Kelly, the champs no one expected. Lester FC, the sender you attempt unnecessary. So we'll kill her using rhymes you haven't said already. already. And you. <laughs> You said, until we could do that, no true heads will call us the true champs. We heard the reaction you got in response to that. You had two claps. And besides, do what? Do rap. Newsflash, we do that. So, 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 ha, ha, hang on, hang on. So you want us to keep the same rhyme and switch our cues on a scheme. Mate, well that's the kind of shit we could do in our sleep. Did you take the time to watch any battles we do as a team? We, we could perform in perfect sync. What more proof do you need? Yeah. Nah, but to be fair, to be fair, that send, whoo, we could never do a scheme like that. I mean, you rhyme cemetery with mech spaghetti. Yeah. You should be the champs. <laughs> We've been carrying two on twos and it's the heaviest cargo with enough gas left in the tank to make the heaviest cargo. <laughs> but you rhymed mech spaghetti and fetch the shetty together in bars though and you've been calling us posh cunts and it's been getting to Marlowe. Yeah, just for saying we're not proper rappers, just a sketch on the far show. And our materials worn a bit short like a feminine bathrobe. Mate, our worst levels trump your best and you could never surpass those. You look like you weigh less than and a half stone, and every time I've seen you, you've never been less than a half stone. And you remind me of Steve Boo, Shemmy and Fargo, because those bloodshot eyes popping like cherry tomatoes. Black and white, fat and slight, like the edge of a barcode. We'll have a fight, smash these guys like I dented a smartphone. Only joking, if this was a fight, I'd be getting my ass home. Yeah, I'm like a bird, I'll only fly away. Nelly Furtado! <laughs> Drinking problem? That is clear, it's cavalier. When you have ideas, it's not a light bulb that appears, it's a can of beer! <laughs> You've had two two on twos as a two on two. You're new to the system. We've beaten every title match so far. What makes you any different? So try to. Uh, so try to sell your flawed shit like Apu in The Simpsons. We'll still run rings around you like a jeweler's assistant. You're too inconsistent, just rhyming what we're tired of. Another shitty two on two that time forgot we're wiping off. You have as much chance winning a fucking science off with Brian Cox. You're boring, bland, and basic, and that's why you lost the title shot. And your podcast bollocks. Yeah, it's shit. <laughs> shit. Time. <laughs>
fucking hell. Oh, that was so hard. Um, best doubles title match so far. I'd just edge Peace Soldier and Matter on the first round. I just thought they were slightly more direct. But Marlow and Shuffle's chemistry is too good to take the other two. Yeah, Marlow and Shuffle. Yes, yes, that is one of the best battles I've seen live, hands down. I might have to give the second round to Peace Soldier and Matter. But maybe, do you know what I mean? But other than that, the first and the third, it was just too much. Great battle. Yeah, Marlow and Shuffle T, 2 1. Yo, Bobby Rex, genuinely an honour and a privilege to be on stage for this and watch it up close. I thought it was absolutely a belting battle. Um, I, I really, Team North, I wanted Peace Soldier and Matter to win, but I just feel like they took the first and then Matter, um, Shuffle and Matter was. Shuffle and Marlow was so in sync and everything was perfect. I thought they smashed it. I'm gutted I have to call it 2 uh, 1 to Shuffle and Marlow. Big up. Alright, Massive Boozy uh, judging the 2 1 2 against Matter, uh, P Soldier, Shuffle Marlow. Um, yeah, pretty much simple man. 3 0 to uh, Shuffle and Marlow. I don't see them losing ever again. They might have to retire the title to my Yes, yeah, Jay thinks judging Shuffle T and Marlow versus Peace Soldier and Matar. I give it 2-1 to Shuffle T and Marlow. Um, they're just flawless together. They just had it every round. They, they outdid it. Um, the second round was Peace Soldier and Matar's strongest. But yeah, Shuffle T and Marlow. Hey, Mark Grist. Uh, nice to be back uh, judging uh, Shuffle T and Marlow versus uh, Peace Soldier and Matar. Um, it's a wicked match. Uh, Quite simply, um, Shuffle T and Marlow take it. Like, uh, Peace Soldier uh, and, and Matter were incredible, right? And they're great. But there's like such a level above at the moment with their like synchronicity, the kind of like the way that they're matching up the schemes, the way that every like final line is like a really solid punch. Um, it's, it's nothing against Peace Soldier and Matter, they're amazing. But it's a different beast, different beast. That battle was incredible, basically. Um, but yeah, in a nutshell, I'm giving that 2 1 to Shuffle and, and Marlow. It's incredible. It comes down to like, if you even read them on the page, I think there were so many haymakers that Matter and Peace Soldier delivered. But the synergy and the angles that, that Marlow and Shuffle T brought was the edge, man. It just finished them. I'm thinking, still thinking, why are you pissing on girls for? It's terrible. Yeah, enough said. Yo, let's finish watching that doubles title match. Crazy. If I have to call it, I'll call it a 2 1 or 3 0 to Shuffle and Marlow, man. I have to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, battle was mad. Nobody but crazy battle, man. Matter and B Soldier got the first round. I think uh, Shuffler weren't as direct as it should have been all the way through. Um, but the unbeat shit from Shuffler was fire. So um, yeah, Matter and P with the first round. The second round was Shuffler, the Luna She shit, the pissing on the girl thing. Uh, so that's one one. Third round Shuffler. Like I'm looking at all the cards. They wrote different bars on every card. Like it's just a different level of preparation. Like, two one Shuffler. Two one Shuffler. Yo, what's good? It's your boy Man Boobs back here. We're back here in the building, we're here. First of all, I gotta say, real talk, no bullshit. That was the hardest pause I've ever seen anyone come at MD. So make some noise for that, man. Let's go. Real talk. We had nine judges, we used to do five or seven. We flipped up with nine, we mixed up the panel as much as we could with everybody that was in the building. But still, the champs, it's Shuffle yeah. T and Marlon.